And welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. I have a lot of friends in the Dominican Republic. Not only Dominicans, but also a lot of expats, those who are long-term visitors in the Dominican Republic. Some have even overstayed their visa, uh, which I don't recommend that you do, but many do do that. And there are those who have I've met who have retired and are thinking of retiring in the Dominican Republic. And so today I thought I'd just speak to those of you who are thinking about retiring in the Dominican Republic and just share with you a little bit uh, information of, of, of what I've gleaned from some of my, my, my acquaintances and friends uh, who have retired in the Dominican Republic and hope that this very basic information helps you in some way. Now, if you're thinking of retiring in the Dominican Republic, I applaud you. You've reached your age, you've worked hard all your life, you've now gotten yourself into a position to, to finally retire. I not only applaud you, but I envy you. I hope I get there very shortly. Um, but again, you, 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 you've earned it. And so now you're thinking about retiring in the Dominican Republic. And if you haven't done so already, and some of you are doing this currently, I would encourage you to first and foremost, as you continue to think about this, is to take a few trips to the Dominican Republic. Hone in on a few possible locations as you travel in and through the Dominican Republic. Stay in some of those places, maybe in an Airbnb or a hotel, motel, and get to know the area and get to know the place. Get to meet and to see and to acquaint yourself with the local expat community. See the place through the eyes of being a local and not so much as a tourist. And see if that fits your lifestyle. See if that fits your criteria uh, for a place to stay. I would suggest, and, 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 I, and, and others have told me, that they recommend that if, if you're planning to retire, that you at least stay three to four weeks so that you can mix with the locals, so that you can mix with the locals and the expats. Ask a lot of questions. A lot of questions. No question is too foolish that shouldn't be asked. You may want to ask about the visa process. You may want to ask about the medical care and the medical um, establishments that may be around. You want to hone in and talk more about the climate and the weather throughout the year. Obviously, you want to talk about housing and what is affordable based upon your budget. You want to talk about safety issues and safety concerns uh, that you may have. You might want to talk about communication, English, particularly if you don't speak Spanish. Maybe you want to find out where you can take Spanish lessons or get someone to tutor you in Spanish. These are some of the things that you're going to want to ask questions about. This will help you adapt physically and culturally into your new home. And now may I also add that as you're planning your trips, um, and as I said, take a few trips, but make sure you come at different times of the year, at different seasons of the year, different parts of the year, because that way you'll get a better feeling of A, the weather, the climate, the culture, and what goes on during that particular uh, period of the year, the holidays, etc., and so I hope that as you continue to uh, think about retiring in the Dominican Republic, again, a wonderful, wonderful place to retire. Lots of opportunities to do many things in the Dominican Republic. Go back on my channel. I've talked about this on several occasions. You'll find some, some good videos with content there that will be useful and helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Feel free to help, help me help you by continuing the content that I'm producing on this channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, hit the, the like button on the, on the videos. I do appreciate that. Share the channel with others. We're here to help you at Dominican Rendezvous and Buena Vista Caribbean Properties. Anything that we can do, just let me know. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.